Just got a message from Marwa saying that she lost her voice, thank God, and she can't make it to class. That's gonna be me and Hannah. Morning. Say good morning, Gani. The sun hits like a bullet of faith, and then suddenly I'm wide awake. The fake bliss, our apologies made, was an enemy with no. Good morning, challenge day three. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. We're off the springs, so let's smash it. You look like Aladdin. Why, why, do you wear, why do you wear these stuff? These are stylish, you don't understand. <laughs> this is coming from a guy who's wearing a pair of postage stamps. <laughs> Breakfast! Oats, almond milk. It looks a lot, but it's not actually. And then I've got um, half a banana, about two or three strawberries that were frozen in here, blended with almond milk. Lush. Omelette, two bread, brown bread, and a tomato. Okay, so this is Jan, he's my boss, and he's a pretty healthy Hello. person. Hello. So, Jan, out of one to ten, how am I annoying to work with? Uh, eleven. Elevator selfie. I think it's all, but I don't know. I'm a very like active person, and I like to be cooking or moving, and I don't like to sit down. It's when I become like fidgety, and then you get bored, and then you start eating because you're bored. So if I don't have anything near me to eat, only something that's good, cherry and water, and I have pills and chewing gum, then I'm not gonna eat crap. And the fact that we're working with cake and dessert, there's enough temptation already. I don't need any more thrown at my way. Hello guys. So lunch is about to be served. I'm gonna tell you now what's gonna be. I'm so hungry. Chicken breast grill, brown rice, mashed potato, sweet mashed potato, and a salad. I'm gonna devour it now. Bon appetit. Chicken sandwich, which is with pepper, onion, brown bread, lettuce, um, no mayonnaise, no nothing bad like that. Phil sent me a message telling me to stop falling off the wagon. And I honestly read that message from Phil and thought, fuck, I am actually letting people down. He gave me a juicer out of his, off his own back because they're really expensive and I couldn't afford one. And after he sent me that message, I thought, do you know what, Lana? You, you strive your whole life to not let people down, yet the one person that's actually trying to help you, you're letting down. And that was a massive kind of wake up call, like, what are you doing? I kept looking at photos of, of me and my friends and I was always the biggest person in the photo. And I genuinely strive to look at a picture of myself and feel genuinely happy with it. I don't want to be skinny, skinny's a fad. Like, I, back in the day, yeah, I wanted to be skinny. That's all I thought about, I want to be skinny. Now, it's not about being skinny. Now it's about being fit, about being physically fit. Like Marina said before, you want to wear a bikini and you want to feel fucking good in it. You don't want to wear a bikini and feel like, oh man, like, is anybody staring at me? Is anybody thinking, why is she wearing that? Is anybody looking and being like, oh my God, she's only young. She shouldn't be that big or, oh, I don't want to look like that. You know, and it, it knocks your confidence as well because you, you wear bigger and baggier clothes to hide the fact that you're big and then you end up making yourself look bigger than you are. So it's, it's kind of a vicious circle, really. I've always been invincible. I've always lived off two or three hours sleep, um, sometimes no sleep, I've roughed it. You know, I've, I've, I've always been hard. It's been like a shell, like, I, I don't know, I've always just been, you know, get on with it, don't cry about it, don't moan about it, just get on with it. About three months ago, I had a lump that was growing on my head and I went and had it looked at and they said to me, it's a cyst wrapped around nerve tissue in your brain and I just shat myself and you think like I, I am this invincible person that you, you know I can go and go and go and I've been called the machine before and you know I've been called a beast and you know nothing stops Lana and I was like wow this could fucking stop me and they removed it I had an operation to remove it and they got sent for tests and then a week later it came back as benign and that's really 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 woken me up that you know if I'm physically fit then if something like that does happen again at least I'm better off, I've got a better off chance of fighting it. So now I've kind of got that man, that mentality. There's nothing holding me back. I have a good salary. I have a good job with decent hours. 
I have Sergey Factory to help me. I have a fridge. I can, I can have access to food and water. Like, there's no excuse anymore. A typical day, go to work. I'd probably skip breakfast. Not doing much exercise. I tend just to live for the weekends, to be honest. And the main objective was, quite honestly, to get messed up. The life before CF was kind of quite lonely and a bit shallow and shameful. I knew it was bad, but I never had the guilt. You know, I think when you don't have the education of the food, you don't feel the guilt. So anyway, uh, I started Circuit Factory and I was just super addicted. You know, and I kept going, kept going, felt myself getting better and better. And I was really, really enjoying it. Um, and that's when I met Jazz. And obviously my life completely changed then. Um, changed for the better. I really care about myself. I have a lot of self-respect now. As of before, maybe I didn't have as much respect for myself because I didn't really care. I reached the point of change when I took a picture with my mom and uh, in this picture I was wearing uh, a re really, really baggy clothes and, uh, and I can see the meat just dangling off the sides of my body. This picture was the point of change for me and I was 24 back then. I was like, if now I'm 24 years old and I look like this, what's gonna happen when I'm gonna be 40? I'm a cheeky shithead. I am gonna give you guys an insight into what I have to deal with every day. So today I had to make all of this, a salted caramel date shot, caramel tiramisu, Indian like kheer rice, mohala beer with rose water Turkish delight, coconut, mango transparents with a whipped lime foam, caramelized apple vanilla creme brulee, cardamom and milk chocolate mousse, honey cake, but like in a verine, so it's a bit different, but it tastes amazing. <laughs> carrot cake verine, and then you've got traditional carrot cake, you've got a salted caramel macaroon, and you've got lemon coconut daquas. As you can see, take a good look. So this is what I do every day, and I want you guys to see this, and I want you to start licking your lips and then resist the temptation. I'm really tired, I really want to go to sleep, I really want to sleep, but, well, I have to deal with another fucking five hours of work and the training after that. Why are you here today, Mama? Because Phil, Phil, <laughs> me too. Because no harm. Because I can't even talk. I can't even talk. Okay, so dinner is cooked chicken, carrot, Broccoli and peas and sweet corn. Food is here. Asian salad. Pumpkin salad. Chicken. Cutlery. Sauces goes to the bin. We did fishing. Yeah, who caught them? Who caught them? I did. No, you didn't. They've been here for six months. Do you think they're still fine to cook? Yeah, because they're no, frozen. No, of course not. Yeah, they look yellow. Reactions. Oh, come on. You have, have to throw them. Throw the whole... Ah, no, 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 no. It's not... <laughs> it's not... And tomorrow's a new day. We wake up and we try again. So, good night. When you train like a beast. Good night, Javelina.